Welcome back to the Bet Victor Shootout. This is the first round. Let's welcome the players. We begin with the player who reached the last 16 of this season's European Masters, Peter, devastating Devlin, and a player who's appeared in the last two ranking event finals, Jackpot, Jack Lazowski. Well, looking forward to this one. Jack, of course, we've seen plenty of this season. Peter Devlin loves the shootout, played a couple of years ago. In fact, won a match. And celebrated like he'd won the tournament. Rob Spencer just explaining how it all works with the wrists as they lag again to see who has the option in terms of breaking off. Yeah, Peter Devlin uh, has got a YouTube channel where he's done various uh, comedy raps. But of course, he's now a professional, got on to the Q School. Got to the last 16 of his first event, the European Jack Masters, back in September. He's a gregarious character. He was a child actor. He'd be looking forward to this, I can guarantee it. Yes, yeah, it'd be good to see him have a good run in the shootout, but he's up against a, one of the more likely winners, I guess, if you could ever have a favourite for this. Jack Lizowski, who's been in great form this season. He's had a terrific time of things. Well, he's certainly quick, isn't he? Jack is sixth on the shot times this season. Plays a naturally fast game. Best in the shootout, three last 16s. Uh, Devlin got a bit lucky there. Not It gives a problem, actually. Not only has he not left the red, it's given... Lazowski a problem, he can't play the safety shot into bulk, obviously, because there's a red down there. He's got to come up with something. I know that you spoke to Peter Devlin, didn't you, on your, your podcast, Dave? I thought it was very interesting. He, he's a, There's quite a lot to him, isn't there? You know, he's uh, enjoys the limelight of it all, and, you know, getting on the tour, it's kind of changed his perspective on things. I think uh, if, if I hadn't had to wrap it up, we'd still be speaking now. He's uh, very interesting, as you say, and a uh, very outgoing character, which not all snooker players are. Well, they reckon there's no characters in the game, Davis. That's what they still say, because it's nonsense, <laughs> but some people just throw that old cliche out, don't they? They want to come in the players' room at the tournament, <laughs> if they believe that. Yeah, a couple of people actually asked me about certain shots. For instance, the cue ball didn't touch a cushion there, but as long as something touches a cushion or a ball is potted, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be... It just can be any ball. So uh, that's why these shots are all legal. The shot that Devlin played, a red just brushed the cushion on his previous. A very cagey opening. I mean, you might roll up to the bunch under different circumstances. Oh, that is a very good red to the middle. That's a narrow angle to potted that. Six. Yeah, terrific red this in any form of the game. Yeah, they're difficult shots, especially underneath the cushion with the cue ball. Oh, well, so, so close. I'm not sure if he's on this blue. I don't think he is. Uh, I think it's going to have to be the pink. With the, the pink, he didn't really want to play. Or maybe the brown, perhaps, if he can get through to that one. With the red up there, yeah, that's a better shot, I suppose. Well, at least he didn't go in off, because that looked uh, like a possibility. Oh, but no, missed it by a long way. Uh, they're much happier had he been playing on the blue there on that previous shot. So, a chance has come the way of Jack Lazowski. Careful of this shirt. Yeah, Jack. I mean, you wouldn't try and get in the way with anything, Dave, would you? But there's referees all around there, aren't there? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. About six of them. Like vultures. <laughs> <laughs> all watching, 
all waiting for something. Like people on a parish council. <laughs> well, he's opened things up here very nicely, I think. It's on the end red. If you can get to it. Oh, he's caught the wrong one. He certainly did. And that has potentially done all sorts of damage. But we've seen both of them make mistakes, so it doesn't necessarily mean there won't be any more. It gets a little nervy. Well, Devlin has been given a, a golden chance here. This is why Jack Lazowski caught the wrong red. He feels that's a big mistake, but you can get more than one mistake, of course. Peter Devlin beat Mark Williams, of course, in that European Masters. Long time ago now, lots happened since then. But that was his first event. Ah, oh dear. Straight away, it's gone wrong. Six. Positionally. It really has, Dave. Now that operation. kiss on the yellow has left him very little to go at. Tried to get the cue ball back, but the red is chasing after it. Well, that's all right. Peter Devlin, six. Jack's got enough time here, hasn't got to worry. A handful of points behind, but with four minutes left, it's more important right now not to let your opponent back in, I think, rather than worry too much about what you can pot. Yeah, I mean, it's only six in front, but he wants to stay in front. That's the name of the game. In the end, the time was sort of running down there. He had to do something. Well, there is a shot here just to could potentially, well, he can cut the red to the middle, or that's thin. Oh, where's this going to end up? Well, on the black, literally. No good. There might be a little shot somewhere to get in behind the yellow. Just be handy. Although, well, I don't think he played that, you know. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't because he's walking away. Well, it's brought him level. Six. Oh, goodness me. What has he done there? That is a horrendous mishit, wasn't it? If he went for the pot there, I don't know what happened. Devlin keeps trying to go in off in that right middle. Right. <laughs> Almost did there. So, slight advantage, Peter Devlin. I feel that there's a bit more in this game yet, Dave. A few more twists and turns. Well, it's just so close, isn't it? That's the thing. There's only six in it. It's bags of time. Things can still happen here. I get the feeling they might. Yeah, it's got that feel about it. Oh, he already had one match go to the blue ball shootout, didn't we? So, you know, you're not, I'm not ruling that out here because it's so nervy. Jack's all over the place. <laughs> He's been playing brilliant snooker this season. I thought he played marvellously again up until the final here last week in the German Masters. But today he's, he's all over the shop. <laughs> That's what the shootout does. Can he get through to pot this? Not easy. In it goes. Well, not. he doesn't need to panic. Now's not the time. Green ball. No, he's looking for one more chance to get in. And if he does, he should win. If he does, that is. Can afford if he's got a safety shot and no pot on, he's got. I think he can afford one more good safety shot, but after that, it's going to be all out of tack, I think. 
Might be all out of attack here. Maybe going for this red. Now he needs needs a bit of help now. And he's given the chance away to the man who's in front. That was a big error. Yeah, deep breath, I think, for Peter Devlin here. He's in his hands. 50 seconds left. Edgy old frame, but we've seen plenty of those in this shootout. We'll see plenty more, by the way. But this will be a great win if he can now close this out. Six. His points aren't going on his score, are they? But he's, he's further in front than this. Yeah, I noticed the same. But at least he is in front. Yeah, for some reason the scoreboard's so, packed up on him, but... There we go. He's keeping his own call, that's the main thing. Yeah, it's a good win, this, over a form player. <laughs> That's a wrap for Peter Devlin. He's into round two of the shootout. Disappointment for Lazowski. He looked a bit edgy in that one. Devlin's delighted. Yeah, well done, Peter Devlin. He's giving it a thumbs up. And the arm in the air will be, um, we'll be having a chat with Peter. In just a sec, he's going to walk up. The stairs and join us over the uh, the garden fence. Here he is, Peter Devlin. Well done, congratulations to you. How does that feel? Weird. <laughs> weird. Why does it feel weird? It went very good, was it? <laughs> right, it doesn't really matter. It's a one frame knockout. No, it was. It was really, really fun. It's. I don't think there's any any tournament I've ever played in that can replicate that. Um, to be fair, even even when we've done like charity shootout events at the Upton Park or anywhere like that, you still feel more pressure there than you do in a normal tournament. So. It's 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 so much fun, but it's so scary as well. Yeah, it's a crazy it's a crazy frame as well. You've just played because both of you had chances to win it. Yeah, yeah, we've yeah, <laughs> But there's nothing you can do. I mean, it's it's you know the circumstances you're playing under as well. Yeah, shot it's, clock, it's so the... weird. I mean, even even I've been on the TV table so far this season about six or seven times, but all of those times it was just one of them where there's one camera and two on the side. Um, you know, like when they're just standing there. So having them all moving around is just all different. All different things to take in, but I'm glad I got that out of the yeah, way. Yeah, it's uh, part and parcel of it because you've you've been a pro now. Well, this is your first season. Yeah, a few months. Yeah, you had it's a good European Masters as well. Are you enjoying it? Loving it. Yeah, it's it's obviously it's a dream come true. But now that I've got that dream come true, the next the next step is to go further and actually do something in a deeper tournament. You know, we've spoken to you before on the snooker shooter. I'm sure you rapped for us. Once. I did. Is that I did. Right? I did. Have you got one up your sleeve? I mean, I, I mean, I let. A f you're not going to put me on the spot, well, if, are you? If you want, you, I know you've got the talent to do it. It's up to you. You don't have to, but... I mean, do you know what? Let's do it. OK, let's do it. I didn't, I didn't think I was going to be do doing it. this. We know you're good. We know you're good. Off right. you go. I suppose I can do one that kind of describes how I was feeling now, eh? Perfect, perfect. Right. Who do I look at? <laughs> you can look right down that camera there, right? Oh, this one here. There you go. You ever run under pressure so much you can barely breathe when you're on it, you twitch and then you get unintentional side on it and you miss by a foot and your opponent clears the table and you start to think that you were just not able. You swore you'd keep you calm and you wouldn't get frustrated but missing that final ball got your anger activated. You can shake your head and you can bang your cue but there's nothing else that you can do to stop the twitch you let off in your cue because it's over. You've lost the frame and you can't replay so it's best to just forget the pain. Get on the fast train to your brain and explain. The pain will keep happening again until you can learn to stop and refrain from the anger that's inside you there's nothing that you can do you missed a long blue but you shouldn't have played a deep screw focus if you want to win don't expect an easy game there's no champagne without pain but <laughs> oh come on applause. <laughs> right and on that note i think well I'm done, well done. That's great <laughs> that was great well done congratulations i'm so glad right. you're still in the competition we'll see you maybe for another rack <laughs> there's in the no next more round. trust me Good that's work. the end of my life now. good work well well done we'll see you soon there Cheers. you go peter devlin safely through well you may have been asleep but i'm sure you're awake we've got about five minutes we'll see you right after the break